Good afternoon, everyone. I'm grateful for the opportunity to thank the Advisory Council to support grandparents raising grandchildren as you gather for the third time. And I'm honored to welcome everyone participating in today's meeting. When the Council convened for the first time in Washington just over one year ago, it was the start of a historic effort to improve the lives of our country's 2.7 million grandparent and kinship-headed households. We know that kinship families come together for many reasons, whether because of parental illness, military deployment, substance use disorders, or incarceration. Grandparents and kinship caregivers who step in to provide care for children are among a larger group of individuals we collectively call family caregivers. These caregivers provide the sense of stability, permanency, and belonging that our youth need at critical points in their lives. At the same time, these caregivers face legal and financial uncertainties and often must make choices and decisions quickly and in the absence of critical information and supports. As Secretary of HHS, I know that family caregivers and kinship families are central to our mission of improving the health and well-being of all Americans. They are national assets we must all cherish, and they deserve the best we have to offer in terms of support, recognition, and understanding. The Supporting Grandparents Raising Grandchildren Act was signed into law to achieve that goal, and this Advisory Council is charged with making that goal a reality. The Advisory Council's vision statement, which was adopted earlier this year, speaks clearly to your commitment. It bears repeating here. Identifying, promoting, coordinating, and disseminating to the public information, resources, and the best practices available to help grandparents and other older relatives both meet the needs of the children in their care and maintain their own physical and mental health and emotional well-being. In addition to laying out a vision and mission focused on bringing together critical information and resources to support grandparent and kinship families, you've taken extra measures to ensure the availability of critical resources during emergency situations like the current pandemic. Every member of the Advisory Council brings a unique and critical perspective to the work at hand. You've been there on the front lines, consulting with teachers, health care professionals, social workers, lawyers, and others to advocate for children. The experiences and expertise each of you possesses, both personally and professionally, are key to ensuring that we fulfill Congress's expectations for the Act and, more importantly, improve the lives of grandparents and kinship families, especially the children they include. I look forward to reviewing your report and submitting it to Congress, and I look forward to ensuring your work is widely read and implemented so that we can assist grandparents and kinship families in every way possible. My hope is that within the pages of our initial report to Congress, the voices of families are presented in a clear and compelling way. Today, as you consider the recommendations you'll be making in your report, I'm confident you will help all of us achieve a robust and clear vision for better supporting grandparent and kinship families. So thank you to every member of the Advisory Council for all your hard work and dedication over the past year. You will help all kinship families flourish and as a result help our country flourish too. Thank you and I wish you a productive rest of the meeting today.